Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to do a powerful message today using the Gilded Tarot Royale and any other cards I'm guided to. So we're going to use this kind of, these messages to see each area of the journey and what we need to know. So we're going to start then with the connection, okay? So what's happening today with the twin flames? What's happening in the connection? What's the energy? What do the angels want to show to you today? Wow, we've got the three of cups. So today the energy is reunion. Absolutely beautiful. So there's going to be reunions coming in today. Maybe this is the day where you and your masculine come back in touch. You know, you may receive that message that you've been waiting for. You may receive that phone call, that email, that you know, follow on social media, that Facebook message, there's going to be some magic flowing in and it's going to create a celebration. You're going to come together in some way. If you don't receive a physical reunion today, you're going to feel very connected with your twin. So you are connected. So the message today is in the connection, you are feeling connected and it's a big sign of things to come. And I feel this is a big sign of reunion. They're giving me the number three connected with the three of cups. And three is about faith. It's about the trinity. It's about you, your twin, the, the higher power, the universe, you know, your connection with the divine. It's about coming into union, creating. It could be about you and your twin creating a family, building things together, magic flowing in. And they're also giving me number three for three hours, three days, three weeks. Okay, could be three months for some, it could be three years, but this is about this energy now. So they're giving me three days, well, they're giving me three hours, three days, three weeks. This is when reunion is coming. So, you know, if you haven't spoke for a long, long time, expect it. It's happening very soon. So the angels are showing this to you. So the energy around the connection today is reunion. Absolutely beautiful, wanting to come together, wanting to express love to each other, to show love. So what does the DM want to say to the divine feminine today? Okay, what does the masculine want to say to the feminine with this energy of communication? Wow, I'm leaving something behind. Amazing. I'm walking away. I'm walking away from that karmic situation. I'm starting again. They gave me that song by Craig David. I'm walking away, okay, from the troubles in my life. I'm walking away. So they're walking away from the troubles in their life. They're letting you know they're making a change. They're breaking free. They're moving forward. They're showing you the power is in the now. They're moving ahead. They're showing me that powerful full moon as well. So it feels like around the full moon energy, that super moon, big change. So they are saying to you, Divine Feminine, I'm on my way. It's a journey. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm releasing. I'm letting go. I'm walking away, especially from fear of abandonment releasing those negative emotions, letting go of the pain and, you know, any struggle, any insecurity. So not only are they leaving behind karmic people or toxic environments or situations, they're also leaving behind their negative thought patterns, you know, feelings of not being good enough for you, not being worthy of you, being insecure about things. They're leaving that behind and they are walking away. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. Love it. So that's what he's doing today. He's walking away from trouble, okay? And they give me fear. So if your mask needs a little bit of space today, that's why, because they're walking away, they're releasing, they're moving forward. They may feel like as well, they're abandoning things. They may feel they're abandoning their family or their friends or their job, and it creates fear, but they don't care. They're walking away anyway. They're walking away and walking to you. They're walking away from that and they're walking to you. So walking away from the old, to walk towards the new, which is you. Very powerful. So feminine, what do you want to say to your masculine today? Okay, what do you want to say to your masculine today? You're saying, wow, about time. You know, you're saying, well, I'm releasing and healing and getting back up again. So feminine, you're in the energy today of surrender, of release, healing. You know, you're kind of moving through the past, the pain. You're getting back up on your feet. So the feminine here is, is being shown that it can't get worse. It can only get better. The Ten of Swords is saying all the things that have happened to you on this journey, all the pain you've endured, all the heartache, all the suffering, it's now 
in the past it's time to let it go because your masculine is walking away from that walking away from hurting you walking away from the things that have caused you pain and it's time to start again so this is the energy of a rebuild okay and that's why you've got the three of cups there you know for reunion you're rebuilding something together now so feminines you're walking away too from the pain so you're forgiving Okay, you're releasing, you're letting go. It's like you're saying, I forgive you, divine masculine. I forgive myself. I'm getting up. And Archangel Michael is giving you the strength to carry on. So, you know, you've been hurt. You've gone through pain. Everybody understands on this channel what that feels like because we've all experienced it in some way, shape or form. And even if you feel knocked down right now, it's the time to get back up because it's the time to begin again. So the energy of this card is resurrection. Things are being resurrected, even if it feels like for so long you haven't been together, there's a reunion coming in and magic is on the horizon and you are safe. So remember Divine Feminine to get back up and to feel good. So before I move forward with these, we're also going to do a message. So we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine 101 for the masculine. So he's showing you here, he's walking away, he's leaving the past behind. What does he want to say to you today? I want to introduce you to my family as my one. So there's that message again. I want to introduce you. And I think about touching you. And this is why he's walking away. Okay, let's do some more cards. What else does he want to say to you? Okay, he's saying to you it just gets a bit much. So that's why he's hurt you in the past. He's walked away, he's been quiet. But he's saying my life works better with you in it. And marriage sounds good with you. So what he's saying to you is, I'm walking away from all the trouble, I'm leaving behind the past and I'm leaving behind my karmic situation because I know that my life works better with you in it, okay? Divine feminine, my life works better with you in it. Sometimes it does get a bit much, but I want to introduce you to my family and my friends. I want to bring you into my world and marriage sounds good with you. Okay, so allow that to make you feel good because they're touching you energetically, they're feeling your presence and they're wanting your touch. So feminine, what do you want to say to your masculine today in this resurrection energy? I'm sorry I blamed you, wow. So you're apologising for blaming them for everything and you know that it's happening now, it's moving forward. So you're healing because you are forgiving. You're healing because you're no longer blaming. I'm sorry I blamed you for everything. I'm sorry I blamed your situation. And I trust you now to do the right thing. And that's exactly what's happening because there's a reunion coming in. So let's do an angel message for everyone then. So I'm going to carry on using the tarot. So we've got, wow, judgment. So release judgment. Don't judge your twin. Remember to not blame them. I'm sorry for blaming you, Divine Masculine. Forgive yourself, forgive them, and trust that things are getting better. So we've got the Six of Swords, love this. This is kind of the energy I was tapping in with, with the, the, the Ten of Swords, you know, with that feminine energy there. So this is saying to you, the worst is behind you. You're both releasing the past. The masculines are walking away, the feminines are releasing, and things are getting better. So this is showing you, you know, you're both warriors because this is Viking energy and Vikings are warriors, fighters. You know, this is about the power within you both to move this ahead. Wow, pay attention. So there you go, something is coming, something's happening. Something is moving into place because that was like a horn. So I feel that, look at this, you know, that's like the horn, the sound from heaven. The trumpet has spoken. It's saying to you, the time is now, release the past, let go, you are strong enough, you can do this, you are powerful. And this is angels watching over you, you know, sounding that horn is a sign that this is about to move into place. There's magic coming in, great change ahead because of reunion, very powerful. So if there's a calming situation happening right now, the masculines are moving out of that. What do we need to know about it? It's bringing in happiness. So remember... Okay, the karmic energy illuminates your twin. Okay, any karmic situations right now, the masculines are showing you that they are walking away from it. Okay, let me find the card. They're walking away from it because they want to be with you. And they've been saying constantly, you are the one. I want to share my life with you. They're saying to you now, you know, marriage sounds good with you. My life works better with you in it. And they are saying to you, I had to go through that to see the light. 
That's what that karmic situation did. We've also got the Queen of Swords. So maybe the person that they are involved with right now is, is being a bit strong, resilient, you know, trying to hold on to the happiness. And the happiness is what they perceive in their mind. So they may not be happy at all with your person, but they were afraid of letting that go. So what I'm actually seeing with this, they show me this here like a wedding ring. So in a calming situation, they are moving away from this situation because their life works better with you in it. So they need to release any marriage, any, you know, relationships. They need to release that to be able to marry you because marriage sounds good with you. So it may not be good with their person, but it sounds good with you. So they're showing you they are releasing you know, the finding happiness, the following your what your light, your warmth. So I feel this is a big sign here that, you know, the karmic partner or the karmic situation is very aware that you are their happiness, that you are their light and that they are struggling with that. You know, so I feel this is a big sign as well that the karmic partner is allowing the masculine to walk away because they realize that they can receive happiness elsewhere that they can't get in the way of your happiness and there's no way they're going to change that. So this is kind of like the karmic partner, even though they may be being a bit resilient and stronger, you know, maybe a bit manipulative as well. They understand that, you know, that you're happy ever after is with your twit and they understand that. So it's like they're releasing them from, you know, what they've built up together. They're releasing themselves and they're saying, OK, I'm taking off the ring. You know, I'm allowing you to be free. So a big sign about freedom coming through to be with you. And you are the sun, you are the, the moon, you light and reflect everything back to them for healing and change. Very powerful. If you're in separation, remember the whole energy is about reunion here. If you're in separation from your twin right now, there's a, there's a reunion ahead. So what we need to know is it's happening now. Okay, we've got the moon. So if you're in separation, there's a lot of reflection going on. There's a lot of healing. Okay, the masculines are understanding what they need to change. They're showing that to you. You know, the walking away from the past, the healing. Okay, so in separation, they are healing. They are learning. They are understanding. They are working things out. The twin flame candles are burning. So it's burning bright, this love. And they're realizing they can have it now. And they're saying, I'm walking away. That's the song they're giving me today, walking away from the troubles in my life. And, you know, that's what they're also realizing in any karmic environment, that it doesn't serve them anymore. If you're in communication right now, what's going on? You know, you may have just come into communication as well. I feel the same to you or they're going to admit to you that they are starting again with you because we've got the six of cups. So if you're in communication, they want to give. You know, they're making memories with you. They want to do that. They want to be very giving, loving, showing you love, you know. So spending time together, sunlight there because we've got the sunflower, things blooming. So communication is going to be very beautiful between you right now. And if you're in union, what's going on? We've got the page of pentacles. Your mask is still growing up spiritually. And you've been reminded of that. Everything you go through in union is for your spiritual growth. And I feel abundance flowing in in union. This is a message about, you know, money flowing in, things getting better, opportunities at work. So great things flowing in. And a message from your twin on the other side, the message is, here we go. We've got, remember that any restrictions are happening for a reason to grow your soul. Anything that seems delayed or anything that seems stuck is happening to lead you where you're meant to be. So this is a great sign about being happy and focusing on love and positivity and being optimistic anyway, because union is within. So, you know, if your twin's on the other side and you're missing them, you know, you're in fear or you're feeling trapped and you, you don't know what's going on. The angels are saying, you know, focus within the love and the union and the power is all within. You're going to be shown rainbows from the other side that you were safe, protected, and you're exactly where you're meant to be. And remember, union will happen when, you know, you're ready for it to happen. And I feel that's a message for anyone who hasn't yet connected on the physical world. You know, if your twin flame is in your dreams or, you know, you're connecting on the 5D, union will happen when the restrictions lift. And remember, when you're not restricted to your physical body, when you're connecting in dreams, if your twins passed over to the other realm, when you're in dream state, when you're meditating, when you're not restricted by your physical 
body, then you're connecting on the other realms. So remember, death does not stop true love. All it does is delay it for a while. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.